hands here for the cheetahs. Is that wrong? Bounce down, back to in the centre of the ground. Chance, that's Balan again getting the ball out of the middle. He's had a million kicks today. Down towards half forward, bounce over the top. Stewie Scott gathers very, very nicely to Stewie Scott. Swings around, steady his play up, goes with the right foot. The kick, though, he's just giving the ball away here. Not a good kick at all. Mark taken at centre half back. Looks like Big Bernardo it was. Bernardo takes the kick down towards the half forward zone for his Thank side. You. At the base of the pack, here's Cowie G, been a grand player. Gets one in the back as he gets the hand pass away. Ooh, player there pushed to the back for mine. Trevor Haynes play on the call. The base of the pack working hard. The handball comes at the latter. Latter is tackled. Latter loses the leather. Goes back there towards <laughs> Bernardo. Bernardo's kicked down towards half forward. Not much happening. Inga Worsen chipped in nicely and took the mark. Goes in that wide arc that he likes to use and chips the ball to the centre of the ground and Bradbury takes the mark in the true centre of the ground. Now if West can get the first two goals of this quarter we're going to have a ball game on our hands. Ladder over the back. Can't take the grab as we see him kick it off the car but good footy. But now overrunning the ball on that occasion there for the Blue West side was Paul Dean on the ground for the Cheetahs. Tap forward Delaney. Well collared there and good work Paul Dean using some strength. Oh Westwood. He did a blind turner. <laughs> oh, sensational. But he put his teammate under all sorts of pressure there, and poor old Primo. And now he's been... Oops, the Daisy. Mickey Foster not agreeing with a couple of tactics there. I think you're fine. Free kicks been given to uh, Centrals. They go down. A Jewish got in the pack stands firm and takes a good mark on set wing. Wants to go on with it. Could be 50. There's two or three on the mark. Now he's called player. Well, I'll never know the rules. He punt kicks the ball down towards centre half forward. Up goes Scotty Lipchuk. Punches it away. Free kick for in the back. Ah, and it's been me. paid here as Brainy clears the straight to Adrian Hart. Now they're going to play tiggy tiggy touch with them. Let it go all day. Cunningham was up. Good mark. Short of half forward. Lucino works hard as it comes out towards him. A bit of help there oh, from there Bradbury. Go. And a free kick been plucked out of this one. Greg Hart. Takes the free kick on this occasion. Yeah, lovely drop punt pass. The lead from Stockwell, a beauty. Rode the bump well and plays on. Good footy, big fella. Hand pass, not a good run. Puts the Sino under a bit of pressure. Hesitated because he was having to run into Murray Scott. And Murray Scott won the battle on that occasion. Did well, Murray Scott. Had to attack the footy. Left his man to attack it. He had three on one. He left his man, attacked the footy. And eventually it's been forced over the line. I think getting his little foot into it might have been Trevor Haynes after the good work of Murray Scott in defence for the Cheetahs. Now, ball Stockwell doing battle in front there, though, for the uh, Cheetahs. Murray Scott, ball comes to ground. Bit of volleyball going on at the present time. Murray Scott said, look, I'll just throw it back from whence it came. Another boundary throw in. It's only about 15 metres, two from the central goal. West really need to get the ball going and get it down the other end because they need a couple of quick goals, Cookie. They need some spark. They need some spark. They need about three or four players to lift them. When they get the ball in the forward line, they cannot fumble. They must grab it cleanly and they must kick it clearly. Boundary show in. Up they go. Knocked out over the back there by a tongue O'Neill. Got that one away nicely. At the woods, the run of Trevor Haynes. He can't gather in time before the boundary line, I don't think. Oh, he fell over at that time. Tung O'Neill did well, came down the ground to help him out, kicked on the right foot, but the kick's not effective, and uh, the Central's players marked out there on the far side of the ground. It's Greg Hart with the left footer. Yep, lovely kick too. Oh, pushed in the back, Stockwell, uh, on that Geelong West player. You can't do that, Anthony Stockwell. And uh, I think you'll it's find that... Uh, yeah, it's Tung O'Neill. Gets the free kick for the Blue West uh, shooters. They've got to try something different wrong. Swing the play, and not just kick it to the packs. He does kick it to the pack. Up goes Bernardo. Can't mark. Drop one he would have liked to have held. Is that on the long sleeve? Westwood there, the little, up the ground. Yeah, I thought it was with long sleeves. Little left foot kick. Got it further afield. But Scotty Leftchuk dashes out of defence. He's played a pretty fair game. He's been solid down there. And he puts him into attack with a long right foot kick. No mark paid. Play on the core. Base of the pack. Sassino spins on the right foot. Fires it towards the goal mouth. It's bouncing over the top of every player. Did anyone touch it? It went the wrong side of the post anyway. It didn't matter. One point only. Yeah, interesting to see, yeah, Darren Westwick having a run on the ball. Good move. He's uh, quite a talented footballer. Hasn't had a lot of the uh, footy today. Give him a run on the ball. Good move. Let's see now what Jason Ladder can do. Lovely kick from yeah, Cowie. Scotty straight Cowie. to him. Chance, yeah, sensational. Here he comes, Ladder. He's had a fair game too. He's tried very hard. He punt kicks this high at the base of the pack. Westwick raves the pack well. The advantage was paid as it was going to be a cheater's free kick. Westwick spears a low one up to the forward zone. No mark taken. Over the back of the pack. He's looking there for his teammate, the runner in Dean, who's come on. Mick Foster's with him. They weren't pretty good well, mates there a minute ago. Foster's kicks a good one. It's marked out wide by Adrian Hart. He tumbles the ball around the corner with a left foot kick. A ball running towards a man there in a red jumper. He's not a player. He's a spectator. Paul Johns was the player who couldn't pick it up. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Yeah, very lucky that ball did go out of bounds. Good clearing kick, but Paul Johns was within, had no one within 30 metres, but uh, unfortunately for Johnsy, the boundary line beats him. And uh, ball now back into play. 
as we see now players working hard again for the leather paul johns ends up with the footy but again it's too late she cried and we'll see a boundary throw in i think the central's getting ready to make a change there as the umpire throws it back into play runs past inga worsen tapping it on as hogan gets it back to the big fella johns who spins and kicks with right foot they need some luck they've got some because angelino got it across with a little left foot kick to inga worsen who kept coming left foot kick from inga worsen down the ground and ken denning comes out and takes a strong mark now he would be within kicking range one i'd suggest greg hart off on the ground for the centrals looks like liam flanning first time we've seen him today i think yes it is too much Ken Denning, only 25 metres out from goal, 45 degree angle. Oh, he's hooked it badly. Not that happy. A, that was an awful looking kick too. He didn't look confident at all moving, but that one run did he, and uh, one they badly needed. He missed one down the other end here in the third quarter. They badly needed, and one point only goes on the board of the Tudors when they badly want a couple of quick goals. Certainly do. Now they've moved to 5-7-37, the, uh, the Cheetahs. They trail the Central's 11 11 77 on the up co easy shops scoreboard darren mclennan a beautiful kick way out over center half back was unable to find a target there was plenty of fists in that marking encounter as the ball comes back here here's a chance for hogan tumbles the kick with the left foot not particularly effective interceptions good goes there to uh, what well, might have been foster was it got the hand passed away he'll receive it back if he can run on it was mickey foster he gives one off nicely got a running teammate in bernardo comes down the ground has hurt himself as he kicked that one the ball was marked at the half forward uh, there for uh, Central's looked like Delaney. Punt kicks the ball into the big fella stop. Well, he's got rid of his opponent. He spins not on a sixpence, more like about a ten quid note. Now he's got it. Runs red, has a bounce. The big fella crashes his way through the pack. Has a flying shot off the body of a player in front of him, and it's hit the boundary, bar, hit the uh, the point post. It's in the fight by the goal umpire. There, it was. Uh, well, he was certainly going to have a shot for goal no matter who was in front of him, wasn't he? <laughs> he knocked about three down in that case of the big fella. And he stopped well, he's certainly been a target with three goals down there for the day. He certainly has, Cookie. A big fella, as we see that doing battle there was... Uh, she could have been a kick to not pay. As Ingerwurzen comes to uh, pick up the footy at ground level. Looks there for Westwick. He couldn't control it. Now Springer's there. There's a tap out towards uh, young Justin McClellan. Slipped at the crucial time. Gives it back to Peter Springer. And Springer can... His hand passed like lightning there. Good football there to a teammate in Kosh, who gave it across to a teammate. as a Neville. flying shot at goal is Barry Neville. But uh, the, st the old stager is offline. 1-1, one, one. Barry Neville here this, this afternoon. And done a fair job at half forward. Yeah, here's Cowie. 78 plays 37 on the Apco Easy Shops final quarter scoreboard. Cowie gun loads with a long one out towards half back. He needs some support. He got some from Bradbury, who certainly tried hard for today for the uh, for the side there, the Cheetahs. He kicks it out wide. Denning's the target. The ball's a bit slippery and so is the ground now, Ron. Players just going to ground and fumbling a little with that rain that we've had. Denning goes back in and gets it. Well played, Ken Denning. Now, what can he do? He's well shepherded. He steadies. Kicks long with the right foot. Angelique. At the back of the back. Angelique. He couldn't hang on at the crucial stage. Oh, fresh air shot. Missed there from the big fella McClendon. Oh, oh look, he ball. lays the tackle beautifully. Up by a call play on. I don't know how he got rid of that one. He just threw it away for mine. Angelucci goes back in, paddles it towards the line. And I think he's a very unlucky player there, the number 19 Guernsey. Primo Angelucci should have been rewarded with a free kick for mine. And right. the umpire's blowing the whistle. He's going to ball it up. Yeah, it was a great tackle, Cook. He should have been rewarded, but uh, obviously too close to goal. Bounce down. Good one and tap through for a minor score. Another rush behind there. Cheaters need to make something at least in the next five or ten minutes, Ronnie, to really give themselves a good chance of getting back into it. And I tell you what, hasn't it got dark? It's over behind the goal. Someone's lit a fire over there. <laughs> got a barbecue going to keep warm. It's how cold and dark it's getting over here. Player on the ground there with a bit of uh, a bit of cramp. Might well be McLennan on the ground, I think. Here's the kick back in. Up they go. Up in front, good mark, Justin McLennan. He's been a lively sort of a player, hasn't he? He drifts in and out of the game a bit. They need to get a bit more consistency into it, but uh, certainly been lively. Comes in right foot kick down towards centre wing position. Little Delaney goes up high. At the back of the pack, Lachino's a chance. He comes rolling back with superior pace. Paddles the ball towards the fence and uh, just uh, putting the elbows up there in case anyone was getting a bit closer. No one near him, which was just as well. And out of bounds she goes. OK, just waiting now on the boundary throw in uh, on half forward. Central's into attack. Member side here of Galvin Park. We see now Justin Ladder up against the big fella in Mick Cunningham. Back of the pack there, Gavin uh, Ingers and The hand pass was intercepted by uh, Delaney. His short kick goes to Johns. Under pressure. Lost the footy. Support there by Murray Scott, but umpire Bradworth will bounce down. Uh, 
between centre and centre wing position member site here of Galvin Park. Well, that handy lead for the centrals now looks pretty good, Ron, with the ball a bit slippery in the ground, a bit greasy. Up goes Stewie Scott and wins the hit down. He's still trying hard for his side. Knocks the ball to the advantage there of Murray Scott, but uh, again, just defensive tactics. They come in and slap it over the boundary line. Boundary throw in. Well, centre wing position, we'll call that, I reckon, right where the players come out on the ground. Yeah, just a misty rain dropping at the present time. K Cookie making conditions a little bit tough for the players. What Darren a great knock. Wick, yeah, gets it down to Johns. Johns, he threw it back to Westwick, who is under all sorts of pressure. Dumped by Delaney. No free kick as uh, Edgar now picks up and kicks to the centre of the ground. That man, Cowie, again, comes through like a train. Support there by Tunga Neal. Breaks clear. Looks up the ground. Good football and finds Stewie Scott, who plays on quickly. The teeth of goal, great football goes to, uh, I think you'll find that could be Brendan Ch Chandler, Chandler, I think. Yeah. It's pretty dark out there, Ron, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that Brendan Chandler had taken the mark, and I reckon he should have been put right on the goal line too. I thought that player dumped him after he took it. There was not necessary. Yeah, great work there from, uh, well, Scotty Cowie, also Tung and Neil, and um, Stewie Scott there finishing it off uh, to Brendan Chandler. 10 metres out, drop punt. I think oops, you'll find oops, he's oops. hit the post. He's hit the post. Well, things just not working here this afternoon for the Cheetahs. They've had a lot of opportunities. They're now kicking poorly for goal. And the rain getting heavier on, making their task an impossibility for mine. It's cookie, you're looking quite good here this afternoon, aren't you? you I've went to the finally tipped the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Round six, we're up there. Well, I think I've got one. <laughs> They're waiting on the ball to come back. Is that McLennan down there? I think it is. 78 plays, 38, 40 points the difference on the Apco Easy Shop scoreboard as McLennan kicks out and he finds a teammate in Leanne, uh, Liam Fleming here, takes the mark at centre half back, turns and wants to kick it in a hurry, goes down to half forward, Lucino hands it over to a teammate there running through in Stewie Scott. By God, it's got dark here and he punt kicks the ball down to the ground. Up they go, big McLennan was up, they couldn't take the mark. Uh, Chandler trying to crash his way through the pack, thrown off the footy when he didn't have it after he'd got rid of it for mine. Back on the bottom of the pack there, Scotty Lepchuk going in, doing a bit of damage. Player there, Brendan Chandler, checking all fingers are still there. Candler, <laughs> one, two, three, four, four. How many is there? He said, no, I think I'm all right. And the umpire has picked out a free kick. And it's going to go the way of your little mate, Primo Angeluki. Yep. 20 yes. metres out directly in front, should not have any problems here. Sits back, the umpire looks at the footy, goes straight over the head. Great goal, Primo Angelucci. He kicks his second and a very handy sixth goal for the uh, Blue West Cheetahs. Moves them on to six goals, nine now, Cookie. So uh, there's only 32 points in it now, mate. Well, sorry, 32 points, sorry. 34 mightn't sound much, Ronnie, in this uh, modern age of football because they kick them quickly, but they're not going to kick them too quickly today. One, it's too dark to see who's got the footy, whether your mate's got it or your opponent has. And two, the rain is tumbling reasonably uh, well, quite steadily now. It's not just a drizzle, it's steady rain. The ball's slippery, the players are tired and uh, very hard. Hello, here's a picture of you waving to yourself, Ronnie. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> You're waving to your only fan, son. I hope it. you enjoyed that. <laughs> Ah, ball coming back to the centre now. But full credit to the Cheetahs. They're fighting this game right out. They're on a hide into nothing there at three-quarter time, weren't they, really? I mean, they, they could have easily just fallen right away, but they've had the better of the play. Early stages, final quarter as Latter goes up and knocks the ball to the turf. Leads someone to run through. Hogan tries hard there. Taps the ball in front of him. Up wide, kicking it off the ground there. Adrian Hart didn't gain much territory, but he's gained a bit of possession here. They've got a teammate there that oh, couldn't pick up the player. Too dark, Ronnie. Punt kicks towards centre half forward. Getting back with the flight of the ball. No mark taken. Lucino's a chance. He gathers well, does the Mediterranean man. And he goes with the right foot towards half forward. Oh, Denning almost held it. Would have held it on a dry day. It's a bit wet out there now. We can forgive him that one Ronnie stacking on top but to all players and umpire he's more senior umpire the two comes in and he will bounce yep conditions pretty tough not only for the footballs pretty hard for the commentators here to pick it up Denning flies high goes back to Ingewers and, and the little fella tears through the pack could have caught one high no said the umpire as the rain continues to tumble down we see Paul Johns now he'd be at home as the ball now kicked off his boot to the outer side tell you what I'd be at home if we had a choice too it's pouring here now <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with you, Johnsy, if you're heading off. 
Blimey, it's wet here now, and it's very dark. It looks all right on the screen there. You can sort of pick out players quite easily, but the far side of the ground, you've just about got nil chance of picking them up. So let's hope the camera boys are right on the job as the punt kick goes down towards a centre wing position. Who's that on the base of the track? Scragger. Scragger, is it? Yeah, Alan Craig couldn't get it out, though. Central's a chance with a hand pass landing in the arms here. Robbie Edgar turns, kicks with left foot. The ball's inside 50 here for the Centrals. Can they make a final foray at the goal mouth here in this final quarter? The Defenders working pretty hard. Picked up here by Roland Beck. He's had a flying shot at the goal mouth. I think he's bobbed it. Yeah, good play, Beck. He's been a very good player all day. That is his third. And if you thought there was any chance of the big comeback, Ronnie, I'm here to tell you, that has silenced it. Yeah, certainly has. And uh, yeah, the Cheetahs did not want that to happen. That's moved the Centrals now to a quite a convincing position here this afternoon. Middle stages of the final quarter, and that's probably brought to us by the APCO Easy Shops in and around Victoria, North Geelong, East Geelong, Newcomb, and of course, Sunny Bowen Heads. I don't know about Sunny Bowen Heads. It's not too sunny in Werribee at the moment. Up they go. Knockdown was from Big Cunningham. Doesn't get it too far. Picked up here by Westwick, who's up at half forward plank. Punt kicks the ball in towards the area where he has been playing. Left hook at the back of the pack does well. Handballs, uh, actually handballed it to himself because of the wet ball. It slipped off him. He went and got it again. Kicks it out wide. Looking up there for the little fella running on it there in Gus Cicino. Here comes Cicino. And that's uh, how's how your turn, Art Gus? It's not bad either. He punt kicks around the body. Goes down towards half forward. At the back of the pack, Barry Neville. He'll kick left foot. Over the top he goes. Looking here. Oh, coming out Cowie. Does well. Affects a boundary throw in on this occasion. Getting in body between himself and his opponent there in Big Anthony Stockwell and the boundary umpire has no option but to commence proceedings down there. Oh, gee, it's dark, Roddy, right in front of a white car, we'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about 60 metres from the central golf cook is. We see, uh, well, Nicky Lachino, the Mediterranean marvel, good hand to ball, but he's got no support at ground level. Kicked off the car, but I think you'll find he's kicked it a little too hard there, Barry Neville, and it's out of bounds on the full, and Scott Cowie will take the penalty free kick. This is the first real rain we've had for the season so far, Ron. We've had some very hot days calling the footy, haven't we? And this is the first one where it's been a bit wet. Yep. Cowie's kick's a good one, too. Chipped it in short. Uh, found a teammate there who's taken the grab. Uh, I think the big fellow in Tunga Neal it was. Yes, it was. He punt kicks towards the centre of the ground. His kick, uh, well, was gaining a bit of distance. Wasn't particularly effective. That might have been Kosh, was it? Jipping and taking the mark. He kicks not particularly effective either towards half forward. Ingerworth and knocks it in front of him. Kicks off the ground, goes out wide. Here's the chance for Chandler to show a bit of pace. It does well. Can he hold his feet? There's a tackle. It's a good one too. Forces him to hand pass. The big fella did well there in da Damien McLennan. Got the ball free. Scotty left hook hasn't made a mistake all day back there, I don't think. He takes the kick and goes out towards, well, short of centre wing, and Justin McLennan takes the mark. Justin McLennan, our centre wing position, member side of the ground. Alex to hug the boundary and look for the big fella Stockwell under pressure. Fisted away well there, Stewie Scott. As we see the ball now uh, go very close to the boundary line. In fact, it is over. And uh, a boundary throw in half forward flank, member side. Uh, and the Central's doing the attacking middle stages of the final quarter. The Apco Easy Shop final quarter. Ronnie, quick comment on Scotty Leftchuk's game. You've been impressed with him, haven't seen him play before. Well, he hasn't uh, had a lot to do, uh, Cookie, but I thought he's done it apart. pretty well down there. Beck takes this uh, roving uh, roll, kicks it over the top. Oh, here we go, easy as you like, running in the goal. Liam Fleming says, why have I been sitting on the bench all day when he can kick goals like this? Uh, well played there, Roland Beck. He's been a dynamo for them today, along with Balan. They've been the two that have set it up for them with their pace out of the packs and around the goal mouth also. And a, a nice goal on the board there, kicked by the number 15 Guernsey of Liam Fleming. 90 points plays 44 now, so that's 25 shots to 14. Probably a fair indication of the game, really, Ron. Had they kicked straight early on the Apco Easy Shop scoreboard, the Centrals would have had a pretty big break by now. Yes, yeah, certainly, Cookie. And, uh, well, 46 points. And, uh, well, as Jack Dye would say, it's all over. Put down your glasses because the horse has bolted here this afternoon. And the Centrals will get the four points as they go into attack. Scotty Cowie moved back to full back, held without the ball. Still goes in hard for the leather. Oh, he's been penalised now for a trip, and he's not happy. Oh, I don't blame him. Yeah, a bit stiff. Yeah. He was going for the ball, and the bloke <laughs> ran over his arm. <laughs> yeah, well, umpire's down there, a bit closer to the ground. Might have seen more than we did, Ronnie. I haven't seen and much uh, all day, mate. And a free kick. 
going the way here. That looks like Gus Is it? Yeah, he good take call. This yeah, good call. A little back pocket player. Maybe you have a shot at goal, eh? Well, he hasn't played in the back pocket today. He seems just to have played a, memory, though, a ruck yeah. roving role. Usually he plays in the back pocket, does Gus on previous times we've seen him. But he's relished the ruck roving role today. He comes in and kicks with right foot. He might have hooked this one away the left-hand side of the goal mouth. He has. He snuck it in from behind only. And uh, justice has prevailed, says Ron Brain under his breath. As he likes yet another fag, a Peter Jackson, I might add. <laughs> Three points off the boot of Gus Cicino here this afternoon, waiting on Scotty Cowie now. To bring the ball back into play there for the Centrals, 91-44, went short, good courageous footy. His tongue and else says thank you very much and plays on. Way goes, right foot kick. Kicks towards the centre. Stewie Scott's the target. He drifts into the side. Couldn't hold the mark. Here's Gus Cicino. Picks up and spirals a barrel. A long one. Two, 55, 60 metres. Cowie from behind tried to mark and should have punched. He was still able to get it away. Stacks in on top but down there. I reckon he might get a free kick here, Cowie, to level up for that last one. And he has. <laughs> what do you think about that umpire and Rod? Yeah, no, that was fair enough because he was pushing the back. OK. Going short. I reckon as soon as he went near the ball, he was going to get one anyway. <laughs> it goes out the ladder. Ladder takes the mark and plays on with left foot down towards centre wing. Ah! Oh, Scotty left chuck up from behind, takes a great grab in these wet conditions, plays on immediately with a hand pass, gives it across to Cunningham. He's in trouble. That's He's got Edgar. support. Edgar. Edgar with right foot kick. Over the top of the pack roll and Beck's tolling it. Wasn't a mark, I don't think. Play on the cause. He punt kicks the ball in towards half forward. Oh, Cowie with guts across the front of the pack. Couldn't quite hang on to it, though. Ball comes out wide. Chance here for the Centrals with a hand pass. Coming back in the direction here of Adrian Kosh. He's had a flying shot and he's hit the post. Yeah, a bit stiff, Koshy, on that occasion. And uh, did all the hard work and uh, unfortunately couldn't bear fruit on that occasion. Cookie and 13-14, uh, now 92 Centrals uh, lead Blue West 6-8-44 on the Koeji Shop final quarter scoreboard. See, Chris Delaney just come off there and coming back onto the ground as uh, Simon Balan who's had a bit of breather for the last 10 minutes or so, and he's been a great player, Balan. Here's the ball kicked in. Oh, they've lost possession here, but the centre, the uh, the Blue Westers, going in after the footy there was tongue and nail, couldn't handle it. The base of the pack, the big fella, got the hand pass away in Stockwell. The base of that pack, Gus Cicino, relishing his role on ball today. Laid over the top of it. Umpire says no. Give it to me, and I'm going to ball it up. I thought he put the ball in underneath him that time, Ronnie. Yeah, certainly could have been penalised, Cookie, and uh, no, not forthcoming as we see a quick kick out of the pack by the uh, very, very effective centerman here this afternoon in Peter Sprigwin. And uh, his kick uh, on this occasion is just offline and uh, fell under a bit of pressure there in a pack situation and did well to get ball to boot. Yeah, here's Cowie. Let's wait on the kick in this time. He's kicked in pretty well today. He's unloaded a spiral. He's almost kicked it at the centre. Stewie Scott, it went too far for him. Backing back, he couldn't take the mark. Smokey Beaton was there to give him a bit of support at the base of the pack. Uh, the ball's going the wrong way here for the centrals. Cleverly tapped on by Ken Denning. Set Stewie Scott free, who's kept going from the centre of the ground. He must be tired because he fell over on that occasion. Stacking it on top of it down there might have been uh, the player there in Bradbury. He couldn't get the ball out wide. There's been a West shot for Wick. goal. Oh, West oh, Wick, oh, oh, oh. Has he got it? Has he got it? Great yes, goal. he's got it. Great goal, Team Westwick. Gee, well, he had a dirty day for two and a half quarters, but he certainly tried hard in the last little bit. And a nice goal there. It's two goals, three, his personal tally. Yeah, that was a top goal. Just reflecting back, Stewie Scott set it all up, working hard there from half back, right through down between centre and centre half forward. And it was dispossessed of the leather. And uh, then, blow me down, if the ball squeezes out of the pack situation, Westwick swoops on it, oh. under pressure, screws it over his left shoulder. On the boundary 40 line. 40 metres. Great goal. goal. Lovely goal. 92 plays 50 on the Apco Easy Shops at scoreboard. And, uh, well, they're still fighting it out. That's what you want when you start getting done. You want them to just keep going. Hand pass was a good one there from Hogan. Gave it back to his running teammate. Bradbury goes down the ground. Right foot kick towards half forward. Umpire's found a free kick. Going to go the way here, I would think, of the centrals. And this uh, right wants to play on straight away. It has to go back. Simon Belan. And, uh, yeah, didn't take him long to get back into the place as he went back on, Ronnie. Ah, certainly good player. And, uh, well, Simon, let's see what he can do with the footy. Goes a low trajectory job. Now to the centre wing. No one can take the ball. Diving on it. Ooh. That was aggressive work. Stewie Scott there. And, uh, had eyes for the footy. Could have infringed on the uh, player there picking himself Adrian up. Adrian Hart. Took a little while to get up, Ron. Yeah. Mm. Up they go. Ladder. Goes up and does the ruck work. Scott actually knocked it over the top. The Ingerwurst, and who comes in steady, fires with right foot over the top of the pack. Tried to chip that one in, actually. Player not pushed in the backcourt, and the umpire by the big fella there. Took a dive. He in tried McLennan. to get the ball there. I think it was in Brendan Chandler. Brendan Chandler, a Chandler it was, yeah. lunge. 
the ball just a little bit too wide for him. But he has got there before it's gone over the line on the full and uh, boundary throw in. Only about 15, 20 metres from uh, Actually the uh, playing blue West forward this goal. last yeah. quarter, Chandler. Yeah, he's pretty uh, lively too, and he's having a red-hot go as we see the ball now brought out by Edgar, another good player for the Centrals. Had many touches across half back here today. So we see there that Ingersberg and all oh, taken out of the footy. No free kick. There's a quick hands there by uh, Kosh. Delaney, which way does he go? Over the top with another hand pass. Not a good one because it put poor old Gus Casino. He's under all sorts of strife. <laughs> it looked like Casino fell on top of him then. West, old Gus. Westwick's coming. A little chip kick though was, uh, well, put his teammate there in poor old Smokey under a bit of pressure. Now, Twanger. Oh, cop one too. He'll be twanging tonight. As we see now that Scotty left Chook, uh, probably first mistake he's made all afternoon. Picks it up under pressure and kicks wildly out of bounds. And, he nearly uh, knocked our other cameraman, Robert Watson, off his stand. There he's up there, Robert. It's a dirt camera work around the ground a bit there. Just about knocked him over. <laughs> yes, another guest video innovation cookie. Uh, the unit down there at half foot, other end of the ground, as we see a lovely lead, Brendan Chandler. Now, let's hope... Oh, yes, that was... Uh, it looked worse than what it was. I think he just went over the top of him. Certainly. Went over the top. Well, he let's just hope now. Look, he, let's have a look, Brendan. He's kicked the point today, and... Uh, well, he'd be very keen to get his name in the paper again this week. Well, he wouldn't be one of their worst players, Ron, would he? No, he's he's been a lively day. player. Now, he's coming. He's going to try the torpedo. And he's got all of it, too. It's a lovely kick. It bends back. Well, it's you'll back. find he's put it through. It's up the goal on over. Oh, oh, it's a, a sensation. <laughs> it's all clear. It's the goal. Oh, oh, oh. Changer. Well, Modra, they call him down there, actually. <laughs> he's let that one go. It was a magnificent kick. Not the goal umpire. Apex over base. <laughs> Great goal, Brendan Chandler. And the Tudors are coming back. This time you're going to beat them, Cookie. Apco Easy Shop final quarter scoreboard moves the Tudors down to 8 8 56. Ruby Central's 13 14 92. And there's only 36 points to the margin. Is that a serious question? Is time going to beat them, or are you just having a lend to me? <laughs> can't play on until tomorrow. <laughs> But they're fighting the game out, Ronnie. I know what you're getting at. They are fighting the game right out. Certainly. Cameraman's just asking me what is the time of the final quarter. And uh, we wouldn't have a clue, mate, because we've got no Rockies the clock. Rock, the Rockies clock chucked it in. I'll go for 22 and a half minutes. Here we go back to the centre. Big Justin Ladder goes up, wins the hit down towards Ingerworth and pulled off the footy. Here's Balan, hand pass. Oh, and looted the player it was meant for. Trying to crash their way through there, Westerwick. Knocked the ball back in the path there of Hogan. Hogan chips one across. Too wide for Ingerworth. There lays a great tackle. Forces the uh, hurry kick. Comes out towards, well, settling position. First to the football is Alan Craig, the former North Shore champion. Pushes the ball in front of him, now pushes it backwards of him, and eventually he's pushed it over the line. Well, a bit of a ricochet here. He did well, he kicked it forward, and it ricocheted back from Trevor Haynes's boot. And uh, poor old Scragger, he was looking forward to kicking a goal too, but he's missed out. OK, boundary throw in. Here's the chance at the base of the pack for Edgar. Dives it on top of it now, knocks it out. Well played, Edgar. Gone, Scrag. Went as far as Scragger. Got it across to the big Hulk Hogan. He goes across the ground. Oh, he oh. clean bowled his teammate out there in Darren Bradbury. Got time to pick it up steady. Oh, golly, he looks a bit baller once the rain hits him, Bradbury. Goes on the left foot. <laughs> Chips right into the pocket. No one there, though. No one there at all. Centrals are going to clear this pretty easily, Ron. Out to half back. Up goes Justin McLennan. Can't mark. Does well at ground level. Gets the hand pass across. Uh, his hand passes into the coach's box there, though, and that will have a boundary throw in. Yeah, time ticking on. I think you'll find we'll be well into time on, David Cook. Uh, as we see now, the ball back into play. There it is, the siren, and we are definitely well into time on because it is all over round six of GDFL football for the 94 season. And, uh, well, Cookie, congratulations on your first winner for the season. Yeah, congratulations to the Centrals. That's their first win of the year. They're going as well as I was. There. I couldn't pick a winner at all there, but uh, they've gone 13 14 92 where it'll be Centrals. And a home ground victory, their first of the year, over the Geelong West a Cricket and Footy Club, who batted eight goals, 8 56. And I must say, as you were saying, Ronnie, they did fight the game out, Blue West. They got on hiding enough on there at one stage where they kept on coming, and uh, a few of their players lifted a bit in the second half. And, well, we made a contest of the game, whereas at one stage it looked pretty doubtful. Yes, yeah, certainly. Final scoreline again, Cookie, for our listeners. Werribee Central's 13 14 92 have defeated the Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club 8 8 56 here at the completion of round six of GDFL football for the 94 season. Goal kickers, first of all, Cookie for the Centrals. For the Centrals, where singles were kicked by uh, Justin McLennan. One goal also to uh, Peter, we'll get this right, Scripkit. We've got to say that quickly. Uh, one goal was kicked by Liam Fleming. One goal to Andrew Kosh, one to Barry Neville. 
Uh, two goals were kicked by Mick Cunningham and the, the major goal kickers, the big captain coach Anthony Stockwell got three and so too did the lively Roland Beck. OK, better players first of all for the successful side here this afternoon in that Werribee Centrals, but... Uh, I'll just give the goal kickers for the Blue oh, West. Oh, did I just chip in there? But you certainly did. It's nice of you to chip in, but just chip out again once more. I'll give the goal kickers here. That <laughs> singles went... And look at this. This is, your, this, is, this is comedy capers here. They're, they're that successful. It's like winning a grand final here this afternoon. They're going to do a lap of honour. Well, the good Centrals. on us. Their first win for the year. That They've played the top <laughs> Let them enjoy it drop. too. Yes. And uh, oh, they'll, be, they'll be all right. Don't worry about the Centrals. I think they'll be there. Uh, the goal kickers for the Cheetahs, Alan Craig. The Scragger got one, Ken Denning one, uh, Brendan Chandler got one, two goals each to Primo Angeluki and Dean Westerwick, and two goals, in fact, to Ken Denning. Thank you very much, Dean Cook. Okay, so now, uh, Listers, better players, of course, for the Centrals. Victor's here this afternoon. Justin McClellan didn't put a foot wrong all day. The big wingman, the half back, he's a big tall boy. Quite pleased with his performance. Scotty left sugar at centre half back, didn't really do much wrong either. Stockwell kicked three goals. Could have done a lot more damage had he marked the ball didn't in the early stages before it First half, he didn't mark the ball at all well, but he just started to grab him when the rain came, so uh, he'd be a better player for the run. Yes, certainly. Uh, Roland Beck did exceptionally well as well for the uh, Centrals, kicking three goals, the vice-captain, and Set up a lot of their play around the, the goals. Other better players, Cookie? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, well, just going through, if there's the final score, just again there on the board, the Epco Easy Shop final score, 92 played 56. Other good players, I thought the Peter, that we can't get this name right, it's Scripper. Yeah, he got a vote off me. Did he? Yep. Yeah, he played very, very well, I thought. Uh, Mick Cunningham at times, a little bit. Simon Bolan, I thought, played a terrific game, had a little bit of spell on the bench there in the last quarter, but came back on and got straight into it again. Uh, Big McLennan, Darren McLennan at full back was quite good, I thought. Robert Edgar worked hard across half back, and uh, at times, uh, Andrew Cost did his little bit along with the veteran Barry Neville. Yes, yeah, certainly, Cookie. And for the uh, Cheetahs, well, you can't go past Scotty Cowie. For mine, he was the best man on the ground in the losing side to do what he did today. I tell you what, it was like the Scott Cowie footy show here this afternoon. And the big number 42, Guernsey, for the Blue West side, uh, congratulations on a great game.